Hi, my name is BC Hoffman and this is Food Deconstructed and we are moving on to our fourth dish, cooking with blow torches. So we are about to do the creme de la creme, the amazing steak with a nice peppercorn crust and we're gonna torch that bad boy till it is delicious. do, we're going to get some uh, black peppercorns. I'd say about three tablespoons, so we're going to just put that lightly on the bottom of the sheet pan. And then we're going to take salt. The salt is going to mix well with it because it's going to help stick to the actual steak. Is that a good mix? Make sure it coats the majority of your pan because all you're going to do is you're going to take that New York and you're literally just going to put it right on top make sure it picks up as much of those peppercorns as possible. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And make sure you have a nice room temperature steak or whatever piece of meat you're using. I would definitely make sure it's room temperature because if it's too cold, then it's gonna be too cold in the center. Um, Pittsburgh is basically, it's gonna be bloody on the inside. It's gonna be bloody raw. But it's also gonna not be so nice if you have a bloody raw piece that's freezing cold. You want it to be room temperature. So I've got that coated, and I'm literally gonna let that sit off to the side. Just let that sit in for about, I'd say about five minutes, and then we are moving on to our blue cheese sauce. We're gonna get a slightly larger bowl because you are gonna mix all these ingredients together. I've got about three tablespoons of crumbled blue cheese. Throw that right in there. Got heavy cream, got literally one tablespoon of heavy cream. Got three tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of horseradish. And the garlic is not gonna go in this. The garlic is just gonna be an addition. We're gonna literally roast this up with our torch and then we are going to smear it on top of our pepper crusted steak and then we're gonna put this on top and torch it again. So we're gonna mix all this up right now. And it should be mildly thick, but not overly thick. Uh, it should still have some runny texture to it. Again, the blue cheese is gonna melt on top. You want this to just kinda coat your steak, so that's gonna be nice. And then you're gonna throw this in the fridge as well and let it thicken a little bit more. And if you want, you can add a pinch of salt and another pinch of pepper. So I just threw my blue cheese uh, sauce in the fridge, and now I'm ready to get my garlic going. So I've got six cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna give those a quick smash. No struggling, nothing, it's easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful. And then again, basically the bottom end of your garlic, the pith, so to speak. And we're just gonna take our garlic, throw it in another sheet pan. We're gonna add just a touch of olive oil. Uh, I'm going for the monster right here. Before I do that, I'm just gonna add a pinch more salt to my garlic and olive oil. I'm gonna mix that real quick, just a quick. Mm. Oh, there she goes. There she bubbles. You've heard of Michael Buble. Well, I've got garlic Buble. Okay, so I've just torched my garlic, uh, and you're just going for softness on this, more so than anything else. And now it's time to torch up the stick. We're charring this bad boy. Charring this bad boy. You want it black. You want it black, that's why it's called black and blue. It's blue on the inside being rare as heck, and it's black on the outside, so. Get these bad boys going. Flame up!
A steak this size will definitely take a little bit longer to cook. If you want to butterfly it, by all means you can do that. If you want a smaller, thinner steak, it will take a lot less time. But if you want a good black and blue steak, get a big one. So I've just now finished torching my steak and let me warn you, chart on the outside, I cut into this bad boy, it's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be a bloody massacre. So before I do that, let me just go and grab my blue cheese sauce, which is now chilled and ready to go on the steak. So like I said, it's gonna have thickened up ever so slightly, which is perfect. I've got my garlic, which is nicely charred, and now the steak. Let's move that right over here. So, you guys ready for this at home? I am gonna give it a nice cut. The fat cap. Oh yeah, that is sexy. It's nice and rare, but at the same time, That is actually cooked perfectly to medium. It's got a nice thin red line in the middle. Oh, that is awesome. Boom. Let's start up. I've got my garlic. I'm literally just gonna smear pieces of garlic right on top. You can kind of just break them up. They're nice and soft at this point. So I have the steak, a nice medium rare slash medium right now. I'm just gonna throw on my blue cheese sauce. I'm not gonna put it on the whole thing, just on a little bit. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Right there. I'm gonna hit it one more time with the torch. Just for the blue cheese to get a little melted browning action. It's time to taste our peppercorn crusted New York steak with blue cheese sauce. Let's dig in. like this, I really love my job. Everything just blends perfectly together. The steak is cooked amazingly. The garlic chard is just so good. And then you've got the blue cheese, that horseradish, and that honey. It's just a melding of heaven in my mouth right now. I am in love with whoever would make this for me. With the blowtorch in the kitchen. Just finished. My name is BC Hoffman, Food Deconstructed. On to dessert with a blowtorch.